squeezes long unsuccessful periods eventually. <laughs> I mean it was amazing really that we got to we had a major label contract for uh, uh, I think it worked out 19 years which is an incredible span given that um, we sold records for about five of those years. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so we hung around. We hung around and our, our writing got better but the interesting thing happened in the beginning the songs that we all thought were great were singles and then at some point, what happens is the songs that you think are great aren't singles anymore, and the songs that you think are probably the most rubbish ones, mostly get released as singles. And it's very interesting, I'm sorry, this has turned into a little rant about the music business, which I have. <laughs> Listen, I mean, I'm out of that whole thing for nearly 20 years and I've never been as happy as I am now, I and mean, that's, that's the truth. I'm very happy to be out of it. But when I read, for instance, uh, an interview with uh, Lily Allen, I was just saying this to David over there. Uh, I read an interview with Lily Allen last week where she was saying that the best songs that she'd written, the record company couldn't release as a single because radio wouldn't play them all, blah, 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 the usual stuff that everybody gets told. And so what they do to people after the initial flush of success is to then try and make them like everybody else, They're thereby killing the very thing that makes them interesting in the first place until they and uh, rediscover themselves again, which brings me back to now. <laughs> what we really need to know. And uh, this next song. Oh, uh, this is a song from Happy Ending. It's about this clip soon, well, well, actually. It's about a bloke. It's about a bloke who's cheesed off. <laughs> <laughs> Who says cheesed off? <laughs> Yeah. 